Julie Muller, Technology Trainer. This video we're going to go get some transcripts for the closed captionings and videos inside our classroom. This is a new requirement from UDL that we are adding this semester and I'm going to show you that how to do this in two of the most popular video streaming services Vimeo and YouTube. I'm going to start with YouTube because it is the most popular. I have a video here. It's embedded in a classroom and now I need a transcript. The closed captioning is there automatically. The students can turn it on and off. But I need to get the transcript and to get that I have to go to the ellipses here underneath the video and choose open transcript that opens this dialog box over here with the transcript. I can now highlight this. I gotta scroll all the way to the top here. Highlight everything, get it on the clipboard with a nice control C or option C to, to get it on the clipboard. I'm going to open up Word. You may open up your favorite word processor and then control V or option V to paste that lovely script onto the page. Now uh, we do need to add a couple of UDL requirements at the top of the page, which is the video name, uh, the speaker, uh, and the timestamp. I need to get that on here. And I have been doing so many of these that I have created this in my Quick Parts area, of, which is a feature of Word. So I'm going to go over here into Quick Parts. And if you want to do this yourself, um, this is in the PC version. You can highlight the text and come into Quick Parts and choose Save Selection as Auto Text Gallery. Give it a name and you too can have this auto text available. Now I need to update the information on here. So I'm going to go over back over and get the title of this video. Again, Control C or Option C and Control V. I'm not going to like default font. I need to put it back in the regular font there. Now I'm going to add Paul's name instead of my own, Sir Paul McCartney. And this video is 27 minutes and 49 seconds. After I have that updated, I'm going to save this as a TXT file. So file, save as, change it from a DOC to a TXT, which is a little bit easier program, uh, a format for the uh, f web to open. So TXT, save, I already had this file, so I'm going to replace that. And it's always going to ask you about uh, the format. I always choose Windows. Now, I have my TXT file. I'm ready to go get my Vimeo. So let me minimize that, come back over here. Here's my Vimeo uh, that I need a transcript for. It's Im already embedded into my classroom. I just need to click on Vimeo in the bottom right hand corner there. It opens it up in Vimeo. It'll start playing, so I need to pause that. Underneath of every Vimeo video, you will find a download. We're going to select Choose File over here on this uh, Download Captions and Subtitles and choose English CC. This creates an SRT, which is a kind of like a text file. If your computer does not know how to open this up, you can right click and uh, say open with Word or have it search for um, an app and tell it then that you want it to open up in Word. All right, so this is gonna open up in Word. We're in the same position we are with Paul McCartney a while ago. I need some basic information at the top of the screen. I have a Vimeo version of that blurb, so I'm going to come over here into my Quick Parts, Auto Text, there's my Vimeo. This is the exact same one I did earlier, so that information is correct. I need to save it as a TXT file, so back over here once again. Uh, change the title to Vimeo Overview, uh, the Canvas Overview Vimeo Script, save. I'm going to replace that file. and. Again, choose Windows default. All right, now that we have both of those saved uh, types, I'm going to come back into my classroom and show you this is exactly where you would want to put that script. So once you have that script downloaded, you're gonna come in here and edit your page and put a little bit about video CC script and insert your file 
ready for the hearing impaired student to read the script for this video. All right, if you have any questions about this, don't hesitate to contact me, Julie Bowler, your technology trainer. Be glad to assist you.